Wi-Fi 7 is on the iPhone, routers keep getting crazier and crazier, and Speedify is on OpenWRT. So let's get into it. All the new iPhone 16s, Pro, Max, regular, they all support Wi-Fi 7. Why should you care? Well, according to Tom's guide, there are a couple really big improvements in Wi-Fi 7. One, it supports multi-link operation. So you can actually be connected to 2.4 gigahertz and 6 gigahertz at the same time. Wi-Fi 7 also has wider channels. Wi-Fi 6E could support 160 megahertz wide channels. Wi-Fi 7 doubles that to 320 megahertz, which gets you even faster speeds. So there are a bunch of benefits here. The 6 gigahertz band is big. It is more than 1,000 megahertz of bandwidth, which we are now under Wi-Fi 7 and Wi-Fi 6E allowed to use with Wi-Fi. This is so much more bandwidth. One of the weaknesses of 6 gigahertz you'll hear about is it's even shorter range than 5 gigahertz. But if you live in the city, long range isn't your problem. The problem could well be all of your neighbors through the walls, upstairs, that their Wi-Fi is interfering with you. In that case, shorter range Wi-Fi actually means less interference and even more speed. So depending on your situation, the shorter range six gigahertz Wi-Fi could be a lot better than anything you've ever seen before. Of course, Wi-Fi 7 means you need to get new Wi-Fi routers. Right now, it's kind of the high-end routers, the stuff that's $400, $500. The Eero 7 Pro is what I've picked up. It's a really nice router. It not only has support for that, it also has support for Thread. But before I rant about Thread, why don't we take a word from our sponsor? Thanks, Alex. I'm Brian from Speedify, and Speedify is an app for all platforms that's designed from the ground up to be the best mobile VPN. So it's secure, and it lets you combine all of your internet connections. Cellular, Wi-Fi, Ethernet, even the cellular connections of devices near you. It's available for phones, computers, and even routers. You can download it from our website, the App Store, or the Play Store. So download it today. Thanks, Brian. Now, let me get back to Thread. Apple has been pretty quiet about this technology, but starting with the 15 Pro, according to The Verge, they've been building it into iPhones. And now at the 16, it's built into all of them across the range. Every 16 comes with a Thread radio. Now, what is Thread? It's tough to Google, first of all. You start Googling Thread and you come up with everything but the technology. But it's a new 2.4 gigahertz mesh radio technology for use for internet of things. So this is for controlling your light bulbs and your thermostats. It's a mesh radio. It's super low power. Devices can go up to two years on a single AA battery. Any thread thing that is plugged in automatically becomes a repeater. He's got extra power, so if somebody on a AA battery transmits to him, he can transmit the packet a little louder because he's plugged in and has more power. And then any thread device that also has an internet connection becomes a thread gateway connecting devices to the internet. So now the phones can do that. All the new Alexas, all of the new Wi-Fi 7 routers are also thread gateways. So this stuff is getting support everywhere. I've been using this technology at home. I got a bunch of Eve smart light bulbs and it works. So you take your iPhone, you scan the QR code on the light bulb and it just gets hooked up with all your smart stuff. You put it in and now you have this smart bulb that you can control from Alexa, from the Apple Home, from open source systems like Home Assistant. I think Thread is the future of Internet of Things. This is how we are gonna control our homes in the future. And I'm really excited about it. And I'm waiting to see when Apple starts really turning it on and marketing it for everyone. And speaking of routers, the other announcement this week is that Speedify is now available on routers, namely routers running OpenWRT, the open source operating system for routers. This means you can put it on a router running Speedify. And if you have multiple internet connections, Speedify will bond them together for both speed improvements and reliability. Any cable can get cut and you'll instantly fail over the other ones. The other neat thing, show you this, the whole Speedify user interface can actually run inside the OpenWRT web console. So if you can get into OpenWRT and use its web interface to control your router, all the Speedify options are there, including pair and share. So you can have a phone with Speedify on it that joins the hotspot. This is Alex's iPhone. And when it joins the hotspot, it'll loan its cellular over the Wi-Fi to the router. So if somehow the router's internet goes out, 
the router can actually ask this phone to be able to use its cellular to keep all the other devices online during the disaster. So if you need rock solid internet, consider OpenWRT with Speedify. It is available today and it works with Wi-Fi 7. I've been using the Banana Pi, which doesn't have Wi-Fi 7 built in, but you can get a Wi-Fi 7 radio, pop it in there. It's awesome. So make sure you check out our discussion video on Wi-Fi 7 because we get deeper into the tech behind personal hotspots and 6 gigahertz Wi-Fi.